morning, everyone. Then I want you all to look at this image of these four cars. And in your mind, think about what they all have in common. So what do you guys have? I'll tell you what I have. They're all luxury, they're all luxurious, they're all sporty, and they're all high quality. These are all high performance luxury vehicles. And in the car industry today, we have a variety of different options when it comes to buying them. My name is Kyle Moy, and I'm a marketing representative from BMW. And today, I'm going to show you how we plan to set BMW apart from our competitors using the R-Car project. So first, I'm going to talk about our current marketing tactics and why we need to differentiate. Then, I'm going to show you how we can achieve that using the R-Car project. And finally, I'll wrap up by showing you our two new revitalized ads. So traditionally, BMW marketing has focused on two core values, performance and luxury. These ideas have been expressed in our brand logo, in our brand slogan, as the ultimate driving machine. In the 35 years that we've used this slogan, we've built up our reputation as a luxury performance brand. In fact, this slogan is what helped establish our position as a global leader during the 1980s. Today, BMW continues to be a top leading brand. In fact, just last year, we surpassed Toyota as the world's most valuable car company. Despite this, we still face heavy competition from some of our top competitors, including Mercedes, Lexus, and Audi. So in 2007, we launched an aggressive ad campaign that tried to attack Audi. We congratulated them for winning the South African Car of the Year. Why did we do this? Just so we could say that we're the World Car of the Year winner. <laughs> but this backfired on us when Audi gave its response. What are they saying here? Sure, you may have won the World Car of the Year, but our cars are still better performing than yours. <laughs> this was a big blow to BMW. Why? Because it attacked one of our distinguishing brand values, performance. BMW can no longer claim that throw to itself. Who is to say? Audi can't be the ultimate driving machine. <laughs> In order to differentiate BMW from other luxury performance brands, we need a new strategy. Our image of being the ultimate driving machine is no longer enough for brand differentiation when we have other brands that can offer comparable levels of luxury and performance. In order, to, for people, in order to get people to buy from BMW, we need to add something new to our brand name, something that no other company has. So what do we have? Our cars. As you remember from my previous presentation, the Art Car Project was started in 1975. And since then, we've had involvement from a variety of renowned artists, including David Hockney, Roy Lichtenstein, and Andy Warhol. These art pieces have been featured in museums and galleries around the world, including the Royal Academy of Arts in London and the Musée de Louvre in Paris. Outside the Art Car Project, we also sponsored hundreds of cultural events annually. We've held a jazz festival in Peru. We've hosted art workshops in Brazil. Together with the BMW Art Car Project, these sponsorships effectively position BMW as a credible and authentic player in the arts. This is a valuable marketing point that we could use to add to BMW's brand image. And it's something we've been trying to do in these past few years, but we've just been unsuccessful in doing so. Let's take a look at our failed ad campaign once again. As you recall from my previous, ad, uh, my previous presentation, this ad suffers from several flaws. First, we have a text image imbalance. Second, there's no tagline or no hook. And without either of these, the message becomes unclear. Finally, this ad doesn't consider the audience. Broadly speaking, we have two categories of people, the enthusiast and the non-enthusiast. And to target them more effectively, we need to consider them separately. So let's do that. Let's take a look at our first, uh, first audience, the non-enthusiast, luxury buyer. Traditionally, luxury has been associated with three values, exclusivity, status, and quality. And in the past, we've been able to target this audience using our claims of luxury and performance. But the perception of luxury today, it's evolving. Conveying quality and performance is no longer enough to warrant luxury. Our research has shown that luxury brands today must also attempt to sell a lifestyle experience. These people, they value art. They value culture. So to get through to this audience, we need to show them that BMW is a company of high culture so that they all want BMW to be a part of their life. Moving on to the enthusiasts. These are people who are passionate about BMW. These people, to illustrate this, I have an image here from Vimmerfest 2010. 
This is an annual tradition held by BMW enthusiasts from around the country. They gather to share their appreciation of BMW. So why do these people love BMW? They love our cars because they can appreciate the performance and engineering that our vehicles provide. They love our brand, they love our vehicles, and they love our history. So to get through to this audience, we need to highlight the performance aspects of our vehicle and show them that BMW is a company tradition so that they remember why they buy BMW in the first place. So having done our research, we've created two new ads that will more effectively target these two audiences. Let's take a look at our first ad, the luxury buyer ad. So recall for this audience, we're trying to demonstrate that BMW is a company of culture. To do this, we decided to showcase a BMW R car as part of an art exhibit in the Smithsonian. Rather than showing the whole car, we, only, we chose to show only a select portion of the hood. Why? First of all, it adds artistic value to this piece. Second, it's more effective in hooking the reader's attention. And in addition to this visual perspective, we also have the vibrant colors of the art piece contrasting the beige walls of the gallery. So with these two visual cues, the reader is immediately drawn to the center of the image where the reader is going to see the BMW emblem on the hood of the car and the iconic BMW kidney grills. Now we have our factors drawing the reader's attention down to our tagline, redefining art. At this point, it's natural the reader might wonder, you know, what's the connection between BMW and art? And that's where we hit them with this. A strip of image is to show them what the BMW R car project is all about. Unlike our original ad, this ad uses the correct ratio of images and text to effectively and efficiently get our message through. Whereas the original ad left our reader wondering, you know, what does BMW have to do with art? This ad makes that message clear. Now for the enthusiasts, we decided to draw upon their existing knowledge of BMWs. And for this ad, we decided to compare and contrast two BMW art cars. On one hand, we have the 1975 BMW 3.0 CSL. This was the original BMW R car, designed in 1975 to be raced in the Le Mans and Hertz races. Throughout the 70s, this car's success in these races is what helped contribute to BMW's image of being the sporty driver's car. This is what the enthusiast wants. Now we contrast this with our latest art car, the 2010 BMW M3 GTR, GT2, I'm sorry. Like the 3.0 CSL, this car was also designed to be raced in the Le Mans and Hertz races. The significance of the M3 today is identical to the significance of the 3.0 35 years ago. By bringing these two cars together, we're showing the enthusiasts that we are a company of tradition. We have always been known for our performance, and we always will be. And what's special about these cars in particular is they're not just race cars. These are cars you buy at the dealer. Historically, the 3.0 and M3 have been very popular cars among the enthusiasts. And through this ad, we remind them why because we build our cars with performance in mind. When the readers finish reading with that, the enthusiasts will be reminded why they fell in love with BMW. By targeting these two audiences separately, we can effectively convey the ideas that are most important to each. Luxury to the non-enthusiasts and performance to the enthusiasts. By highlighting BMW as a, culture, as a company of high culture, we've effectively differentiated BMW from our competitors. And by reminding the enthusiasts of our history of high performance, we have effectively reinforced and strengthened their brand loyalty. With these two ads, we now have the differentiation needed to set ourselves apart from our competitors and maintain our number one position in the performance luxury industry.